NASA invited us to come see its first all-electric X-plane, the X-57 Maxwell. Let's check it out. The X-57 recently arrived at the Armstrong Flight Research Center to begin ground testing for its first manned test flight. Battery capacity is one of the major challenges with developing electric aircraft technology. The X-57 is expected to have a range of about 100 miles and a flight time of one hour. There just aren't batteries capable of powering larger planes or longer trips quite yet. That's why most electric aircraft technology right now is limited to hybrid planes, small flight training aircraft, and urban ride sharing. For those purposes, electric aircraft are kind of ideal, vastly reducing operating and maintenance costs for short range flights. Another major challenge with electric aircraft is the dangers of lithium ion batteries overheating. We've learned a lot about packaging batteries, so getting the lithium ion cells mounted in configurations that are safe and reliable, and making sure that if you have a battery failure, it doesn't propagate to more and more cells and cause a, a fire for the vehicle. What you see here is Mod 2 of the X57, the first of three all-electric configurations. You'll notice that the engines are closer to the fuselage in this version than in the concept animations. Having the propellers closer to the fuselage increases stability. In Mod 3, the two engines will move farther out onto the wing, and in Mod 4, 12 additional electric-powered propellers will be added. Mod 4 will have 14 propellers in total, each of which will be able to be adjusted individually to compensate for varying flight conditions. Only the two propellers on the ends of the wing will be needed in cruise mode, during which the X-57 will reportedly be emission-free. Mod 2 of the X-57 is expected to have its first manned test flight in 2020, with Mods 3 and 4 to follow. Until then, the test pilots practice everything on a simulator. You just got to see the simulator, and a lot of what we, what we do in the buildup and test is all about buildup is to use that simulator. We see things first, right there, before we see it in this airplane. I shouldn't have no surprises when I fly this. The wing for Mod 3 and 4 is already in the works, being developed right alongside Mod 2. This is the high-performance, high-aspect ratio wing that NASA has designed for Mod 3 and 4 of the X-57 flight program. So this wing is fully assembled, it's fully integrated now with uh, the structural configuration, and we've done load tests. So we took it to our loads lab, which is in a building here at NASA Armstrong, and put all the flight loads on the wing so that all the thrust loads and all the lifting loads and all the aerodynamic forces um, are put into the structure, and then we measure the structural response and verify that it meets all of our design requirements. So now that it's structurally qualified for flight, we're going to send it to our subcontractor at ES Aero and have them integrate the electrical systems into the wing. With a handful of electric aircraft already on the market and more on the way, NASA's intention in making the X-57 is to learn what it takes to make a safe electric plane and to pass that info along to regulators and to the growing market. We have motors, we have controllers, we've got lots of uh, distribution to our system like you would see in a vertical takeoff vehicle. So all of the lessons we're learning apply very directly to the challenges that you would have for air taxi service or other urban air mobility applications. Try to figure out the hard stuff so we can give it to the commercial market yeah. and make it so that technological hurdle, we've already done it, you can take this and use it. What do you think about electric planes? Are they the way of the future, or just a passing fad? Let us know your thoughts and dreams down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orrell. See you next time, What the Fam.